opportunity. Last warning. Please, You've warm. been warned. I love the feel of polyester, though. That's all. <laughs> don't, John, don't hit me with that. That hurts. Ow! Ow! My eye! My eye! <laughs> Just let you know, shortly after your show, my dad said that he wasn't feeling too good, mm -hmm. and I thought maybe he was getting seasick. So I called room service and asked for John's seasick cure, thinking I was going to get peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I instead received medicine and was supposed to pay for it, and now they won't refund. John, you misled us and said that it was peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Please make sure this charge is taken care of. from Chandler, um, but um, uh, yes, I will, uh, there's a note here on the back, but I absolutely will, I apologise if I misled you, it was a silly attempt at humour, Chandler, um, peanut butter, the only thing that tastes the same, never mind, P.S., my dad wants to thank Calvin for us kids, uh, uh, thank Calvin for us kids, he bought us a bunch of candy and sugar the other night during Craig Richards' performance, although he was being sarcastic, we really do thank Calvin for the candy, and my dad really wants to say a big thank you to Calvin because it allowed us to stay up till four in the morning because we couldn't sleep. You're welcome. So you're walking around the ship giving kids candy. No, here's here's what happened, right? Mm. So I go in, and as soon as I go with the tray on top, the girl gives my bag of candy that she owes me. But she didn't have the bag of candy ready, so she said, you can pick anything you want. And and I wanted this these bag of candy buttons because I've never had them, and they're colorful like the rainbow. So I, I took them, and then I had one, and oh, they have to forever. Delicious. So I gave them to the first group of kids I saw. I thought, why not, right? Get them all hyper for the, for the family. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not a parent. Let them be hyper all day long. You Logan. obviously never... Until a kid can ask me how my day is, I just don't care. Just have, let, them eat, let them eat cake, says Joan of Arc, right? Let them eat cake. It wasn't Joan of Arc, was it? I think Joan of Arc's last words were... <laughs> <laughs> who said, who said let them eat cake? Yeah. But Marie died. Antoinette, yes. Oh, oh okay. Yes. Okay. Did you know that Marie Antoinette had six fingers? Or was that Anne Boleyn? Did you know, did you know, I learned this the other day, do you know, uh, can you just sit properly? Just sit properly. I'm, not I'm sitting properly. Just how I like to sit. I'm very comfortable. Did you know that I learned so the other day? Did you know, Calvin? Yes. You, please. Please. Uh, uh, you have to do something about your eyebrows. Pardon? You have to do something about your eyebrows. You know what we should do tomorrow? I know. I know what we should do. I should pluck your eyebrows tomorrow. I know. Good idea. Should I pluck John's eyebrows? Yes. Or buttery things? That's going to happen tomorrow in the same way. Hey, man. I, I put up on a dress and heels for you. Calvin. Calvin. You are not touching me in any part of my body. I'll get a, I'll get a spa. I don't want a spa here. girl here to pluck my eyebrows. It's going to happen. I'm tomorrow. very happy. I don't believe. I know. Listen, this whole manscaping thing you do. I don't get it. I don't understand it. It's not about manscaping. It's yeah, you do. children with your eyebrows. I'm not scaring. You're, I have to scare them because you're giving them all candy. <laughs> this whole manscaping thing. I don't get it. Product. I mean, you look at some of the younger cruise directors. Yeah. Guy coming on here who, who's a brilliant cruise director. He's going to be the cruise director this year, uh, called Butch. Yeah. Right. Um, I, I took over from Butch for. A, uh, he took over for me. I, well, I took a little break in the yeah. summer. Yeah. And I came back and he left the, in, in one of the bathroom cabinets. He left all his stuff. I mean, there was mascara and there was there First was all, there was no man's mascara. It's called guy liner. Guy liner. There was product for his moisturizing cream for his hand and his feet and his back and, and tinting and, and, and makeup. And, and on the other side was my bathroom cabinet, soap on a rope and hemorrhoid cream. <laughs> you have also gel, though. You have Dear job, my gel. 70th birthday is 11-21-12, the day we dock in Miami. Can you please, please stop leaning in on me? At least put a tic tac in your mouth. Oh, oh. The, uh, my husband tells me he will uh, have water cannons shoot, shoot in the air the to celebrate, celebrate the momentous <laughs> birthday. Um, did he really arrange this? It's so funny because when we called the port of Miami, 
and said, can we have water cannons? They said, we're already arranging it for Sally because it's her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, there will be, I'm They're sure. They're actually arranging for Sally's husband. Oh, uh, so her husband. I have to read the letters you do. for you. Anyway, it is going to be uh, uh, an interest. I think we're due in at around uh, very early, between 5.36 a.m. in the morning. But there will definitely be some uh, some pomp and circumstance as the ship comes into port. So uh, hopefully some of you will be up early enough to see that. Hopefully. Dear John, would it be possible to schedule a service club meeting for Rotarians. No, Rotary. I'm just doing it. Rotarian, Lion, and Kiwanis. And we did. We put one in. I saw that today. David E. Williams. And there is one in the fun times. Excuse me for not remembering what time. But it's in there today. Uh, and I hope you'll go along and meet your fellow, uh, fellow people. They've got funny handshakes, haven't they? Like secrets. No. Handshakes. Do they? Is Rotarians. They have a funny handshake. Who are Rotarians? It's the Rotary Club. I don't, Do you call them Rotarians? I don't know. I don't know if it's the same thing. I thought they had a, like, you have to have a little thing. I think you're thinking of, like... Oh, is that the Masons, is it? Oh, okay, I'm getting the confused. Masons! I'm getting confused. I always get confused. I'm not, I... There's so many clubs that you can join! <laughs> I always get confused. By the way, what's a Mormon? Pardon me? What's a Mormon? Um, what is a Mormon? Yeah, what, what's it's their... Kind of like a, it's, it's kind of like... A... <laughs> No, well, I, mean, well, I don't know. We don't, have, we, don't have, we, don't have, we don't have them in the UK. I just wondered what their beliefs are. Because I was they reading. They believe in living in Utah. Don't go there? Don't go there. Okay. I just. I know Mitt Romney. It says, it says Mitt Romney was a Mormon, right? And I've he's never. A Mormon. Is a Mormon. Yes. And uh, there's a big thing in the news today about how uh, a lot of political commentators are saying one of the reasons people didn't vote for him because he was a Mormon. And I sat there reading it, thinking to myself, I don't, under, I don't really know what a Mormon is, so I have to go back and read about what their it's beliefs are. Of, I think it's a sect of Christianity somewhere, a branch of, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Dear John, I would like sincerely... Uh, you're all Baptists, are you? Hold your drinks up if you're a Baptist. <laughs> Hold on. John, you should really turn your phone down. I know, I should. It's very unprofessional. Someone's calling me here. Should we answer? Uh, it's the housekeeping manager. Shall we take it live on air? Hello, Mr. Nixon. Ask me about the flowers I sent. I will mention it, yes. Goodbye. Pardon? What? What did he say? He, he just reminded me about your bathroom. <laughs> Look at this little curl here, yeah? You're so cute with your little quaff. <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. John, don't hit me like that. Did any of you see that when I fell over? 
Yes, I, it came out of nowhere. I was not ready for that. But it's okay. It's all right. That's half the fun. Don't worry about it, But Tanya. now I'm stuck rubbing icy hot on your bottom, which is not my idea of a Tuesday night. Rubbing icy hot on your bottom. Just when I think this show can't get any lower, you take it to new depths. The bruises. The bruises. I would have to be dead for you to do that, and I'd still put up a fight. Dear John and Calvin, your morning show is a boat. It's a hoot. Oh, a hoot. <laughs> what kind of word is that? It's a hoot. What's a hoot? Well, it's like a... It's like a... Funny. Oh, okay. Hoot. Ah, oh, see, we've given you a language, and what have you done with it? Hoot. <laughs> My name is spelled wrong. Again. Yes, Calvin with a K. Could be a great cruise director. You could be. Thank you. I've always thought I could be a good cruise director. Yeah. <laughs> After hearing so much about John, I was glad to finally meet you. I'm celebrating the 45th anniversary of my first cruising back in November 1967 on the Italian line, the Michelangelo. Wow. I celebrated my birthday on both uh, crossings. It was November the 